to my channel. Thank you for joining. Thank you for tuning in. Um, my name is Lucy and thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you feel like my content is, you know, something that you'd like to keep on seeing. Um, so today we are talking about a very special, special, special day. We are talking about Chai. a special day. So I hear people singing this song about it. Full time! Valentine is coming. Where, Where is your, your boyfriend? boyfriend? You, you are sitting, sitting at home. At home, I know. <laughs> Anyways, I'm not singing it to anyone. I actually don't. I don't. I don't have a Valentine's. This year, but um, I'm just here to encourage my brothers and sisters, my brothers and sisters who are not in any kind of relationship or like you know. Um, I'm just like. I mean, it's a bit overrated, but I know I'm saying this because <laughs> because I don't have a boyfriend right now, yeah? I, I'm probably saying, right? I'm probably saying it because I don't have a boyfriend. But if I had a boyfriend, girl, I wouldn't be seeing me. I wouldn't be saying anything about it. And Lawit, I see you. I see you. Anyways, um, <laughs> that's just my friend who recently got hitched. Anyways, uh... Yeah, so Valentine's, um, I, I'd like to share my story. I have gone on one Valentine's date in my life. Jesus! Is it like a real date? I don't think it was because I had just met that guy at that time. And it, it's just, it, it wasn't, I don't know, this guy was, okay, he was really sweet to me. And we went out on a couple of dates and he... He asked me out on Valentine's. He, he, he was so sweet. He was like, um, I'd like to take you on a dinner date on Valentine's. Would you Aww. like that? Would you like to go on a dinner date on Valentine's with me? So I was like, it was like three years ago. Yeah. And then he, he, I said, I said, yeah, obviously, because I didn't have, I didn't have nobody else. So I went on the Valentine's date. Yeah, he was such a gentleman. He reserved the table at a really nice restaurant in Nairobi it was, it was nice like we had wine we had like steak it was really good so you don't know nothing <laughs> but I'm gonna tell you something um, this guy, he was really sick everything everything you would want in a guy he's gentleman listens to you when you talk not just saying yes babe okay I understand babe get right, no, right here man like really listening to continue you. He, I'm not gonna say his name because I don't want him coming for me like, you know, why did you do this? But I'm just gonna say it. Hygiene is very important to me and I don't like what if I you're eat. not hygienic, I'm just not gonna do it. So the thing is <laughs> his mouth stank. His mouth stank. You never spell it. I'm really sorry. <laughs> I'm really sorry for saying, but his mouth stank. Like, I can't even. Why? Oh my god! I'm sorry, but you, his mouth smelled. I, you know, that time, let me tell you that story. <laughs> so Lucy was here in Dubai. I was back in Kenya, yeah. So I used to text her everything, you know, we used to text her a lot. And I even told my friend Ashley and and she, I told you too, right? Um so 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 it was <laughs> it was like um I'm really into him and she, actually she you met this guy. So so she met him, actually met him. Um so oh my god, he was so amazing but his mouth I swear to God, whenever he leaned in to kiss me, I would be like, eh, eh. <laughs> Emotional like, damn it. I want to kiss him. I mean, I, I even hinted, you know, I, on Valentine's, Lucy told me <laughs> to carry a pack of bubble gum. I don't know whether she remembers this, but she told me to carry bubble gum. So, I, I, I just, uh, I carried PK. 
I call it the PK mental mental plus. <laughs> so yeah, I carried it, and I was sure I'm gonna give it to him, but I swear to God. So this time, when when we were on this Valentine's date, um, when we finished eating, like his mouth stank like all the time, like the whole time, even after eating. You know how you, you know how you uh you you eat and then the mouth stops smelling. Yani, I know it's happened to most of us, but sometimes you eat and then it goes away. But for him, when he eats and he drinks water or whatever. It comes back full force. So, Emotional, it was, damn it! Kind of hard for me, but trust me, I went on a couple of dates. Are you normal? I really tried. I couldn't tell him. I really couldn't. I just, I just told him I don't wanna, I don't wanna see him anymore. I mean, I, I couldn't tell. I, I it didn't. It wasn't possible to. I'm sorry, but I couldn't tell him. I, I just couldn't. Because I, I felt like, damn, so he's gonna be like, so you don't wanna see me because of this? And I'm sure maybe it could be a condition, you know? I know maybe possibly it could be a condition. So I, I didn't I didn't want him to feel bad about it. So I just told my friends and then they were laughing at me and Is it I funny? No, it's not funny. Fear, you know? It was so uncomfortable. And I I just I just couldn't. I just couldn't. So Get right, right here, man. I ended up telling him, yeah, it was after Valentine's when he asked me to be his girlfriend. Oh. So that's when I, I just kind of stopped. I I don't know. I don't remember how I stopped, but I think I remember because after the date, he, we, we went back to mine at my place and then uh, he leaned in to kiss me and then I went for the cheek. Like, he was like, and then I, I, I just. Why are you running? I just, why are you he running? Kissed me here. Then he leaned in for and um and he kissed me there and I was I think that um it was hard for me and then after that it was, I was hesitant to even see him again, even as a friend, because I was like, I don't wanna deal with it, you know? I mean if you feel like or maybe he didn't notice, I really don't know up to this point. So uh yeah, that was my first and like, that was my first ever Valentine's. I don't know. Maybe I'm just unlucky. <laughs> Anyways, the video ha the video has gotten a bit too long, so I wanna cut at that. But thank you so like much for watching. It was fun recording. I just need a new camera. Anyways, uh, thank you so much. My Instagram is kaire two two five four. My Facebook is Wangam Wangi, and my YouTube. Subscribe to it. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.